Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Thursday June 11th 2015. All right I didn't look at the petroleum status report. I don't know how meaningful it is. Um, it's dipping over. I don't know good bad. I really don't know. But um, Treasury budget as expected a deficit in May but typical at least uh, over the last four years and not as bad as previous uh, years for the month of May and uh, you can read up more about that if you like but I just thought we'd take a peek at that for today we have the Thursday jobless claims uh, retail sales import and export prices and business inventories anything more down here no nothing more so that should do it for today um, sort of a heavy day but we'll see what that means it may not mean anything to the march of the market back into the positive territory here over in Asia mm, yeah, mostly bullish yeah that's good and in Europe bullish across the board all right How's it going over here? Well, let's see. Uh, we're looking flat here for our open. Gold uh, took a dip overnight. Oil's at 60.86. Mm, that's like the midpoint over the last month or so. It's been a couple dollars below and a couple dollars above. It's been actually pretty stable. The dollar's at 95.48. And not much changed, uh, actually, and not much changed against the euro either. Let's see how we're doing. I mean, because of the market yesterday, insurance policies went negative. But our um, directional or semi-directional trades, anyway, the uh, verticals, the credit spreads, are doing nicely credit spread slash iron condors doing pretty nice actually let's take a look at the big chart and here it is I'm gonna spread this thing out a little bit here since I do call it a big chart let's make it as big as possible okay now I have this uh, July 2 um, Bear call. Oh man, it's just uh, my brain just went blank. Uh, bear call here that I may want to condorize today based on just uh, the action for this week. I can do a bull put down here someplace. Let's take a look to see where that might be on SPX. Yeah, looking at SPX PM, we might just. Uh, put an order in to get out of that today so that's a July 1 is that what I said or July 2 all right so that's down here okay so that's what we got into I think on Monday and we held off on doing the uh, put side because the market was headed down so now we're looking for a delta of 10 on the put side and that would land us right here at 1985 and that would be 1985 would put us right down around here not a real comfortable place to be uh, I wish it could be a little bit lower Do have any other choices 19 we could go Let's see what we get here with this one. Analyze cell vertical. Maybe down here at the bottom. Uh, that'd be 30 cents. Huh? How about the 1985? That'd be 35 cents. Need to get rid of these guys here. They're cluttering up my scenery here. Okay. Yeah. Might do that. One 
or the other. So I'll make a note to condorize the July 2. And if I would have had enough cojones, let's go to the daily. If I would have had enough cojones, and yeah, I'm gonna switch this here, I would have condorized here yesterday when it, we got the little doji. Remember, I mentioned about a doji it usually means that there is going to be a reversal in direction. Well, it actually did work out that way, and then we have one up here too. Uh, where you have to have, in theory, open and close pretty close together, and then kind of a long wicks of almost equal or equal length. And that, if you want to look up DOJI candlestick, it should tell you that. Uh, not always. I mean, reversals aren't always on dojis, and dojis don't always say that it's going to reverse. Um, it's just that the probability is high. And did we get a reverse? So this would have been the day to do it. This may be... I may not contourize it. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see. But it's on my list for today. There we go. So I may be doing it. All right, let's SPXPM. All right. Um, taking a look at SPXPM here. Uh, it's at $45 right now. And I think max is 60 I think I did two in each account here. So SPXPM collected 30 cents on it so the max I could make on two of them would be 60 and we are currently at 45 so we're better than 50 percent and if I was to put let's say a PM on here And if I wanted to close a pair of these, uh, let's see, I don't like that particular view. Let's go over here and I'll click on one and shift click on the other and then right click. And so it would be 10 cents. So if I put an order in for a nickel, that would be, that would give me another five dollars on each one which would bring me up to fifty dollars and after taxes and fees etc etc it should give me forty dollars which you know that's forty times three it's 120 dollars across uh, Three accounts with two in each so I may just do that here's how I would do that I would say create duplicate order and then I want to drop this down to a nickel I make it good tell cancel and I'll say confirm and send a single account I'll do that one first if you look to see here on multiple accounts you can see that we have positions in each of them, but I don't want to put this order in as a multiple order. Uh, just because if you need to change them or whatever, it can get pretty ugly. So I'll just leave it as a single order. And that would be two of them. Buy two. Yep. Okay. So that's good till cancel. And there we have the order in. And for that particular account and we can just go through the whole process again for the other two accounts which I'm not going to do right now so um, we'll be getting hopefully out of that today uh, if things move in our direction what is VIX at? VIX is at 1322 so it's pulled back down there not a lot of 
volatility out there right now. Let's run through the scan right quick. I did not do the Baidu that I was thinking about doing. And if you remember, I was thinking about doing a calendar at 207.50. Well, let's take a look at where it is. Well, Apple participated yesterday. Still not really sure what I would want to do with it. Uh, will it continue? <laughs> I really don't know. Momentum is increasing to the positive side, so that uh, could be a good thing. I mean, it did it back here, and we had a nice move up, and then it started pulling back down. Now we're moving back up again, so that could be could be a good sign. Is it going to continue? Well, nothing's guaranteed. All right, so Amazon here, uh, it's time to get out of this. Remember, we mentioned it yesterday that uh, it would be a good thing to get out of it. And we're at, um, you know, like 80, 90% of max profit. So dump it if you're in it. And let's take a look at Baidu. Here is the uh, calendar. I locked it in at 92 as a simulated trade. And if Let's take a look at the chart here. And we have a target up here. So we're going to see um, how we how time marches us towards that particular target. I'm not going to do anything with it right now. Uh, just looking at the way things, things may uh, pull back down again today. So... I'm not sure that I would condorize SPX today either. It just all depends on what I see when I take a look at, at it around 10 o'clock or so. See how things are going. Chipotle, though, we have this butterfly we need to get, to get down here in the next week or so. Actually, we have three weeks on that one, correct? Yes, we do. The rest of this week, next week, and the following week, we need to get down here. Not real concerned about that one. Costco, um, we're looking to get in in a downtrend, and we're almost ripe for that. We'll see how it works out today. Let's take a look at the Dow. We're still below our wedge here. So is it going to continue to sink? We don't know. Um, gold and yeah, gap tooth gold. I don't know what to say about that. We have that covered call where the um, long call is going to or the short call is going to expire in July. Uh, Google, I'm not sure what to do with that one. This is very highly unusual for Google. LinkedIn. Uh, still hanging in there. Keeping its head above water. So we may be in for a weekly trend reversal on that one too. So when I got a strong downward weekly trend and a pretty strong upward uh, daily trend, I don't know what to do. I like to see them both the same anyway. All right, NDX is uh, still maintaining itself in this channel on the weekly. Uh, kind of erratic and sort of looks like a sine wave here uh, on the daily. So we can capture some of these shorter term things. I don't know. Don't uh, haven't had a lot of luck with RUT or Netflix, I mean uh, RUT or NDX on the cash index front. All right, Netflix uh, looks like it's moving. <laughs> Where might it end up? Well, would you want to do a calendar, maybe? A call calendar on Netflix up here someplace for this week? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not going to, you know, I might look at it later today, see if any ideas or any prospects pop into my head. Priceline, do we have simulated trade on that? Yes, we do. Uh, we have a simulated butterfly on Priceline, and it's locked in here. 
so we're watching it. Uh, not doing so hot though. It doesn't have a lot of time to get back down here. Take a look at the Russell. Uh, pretty flat. Russell's pretty flat. Um, doesn't mean that I'd want to do anything with it, but we might be headed to a new high here. Quite possibly. It's not all that far away. Here it is right here, and if we see where the line is over on the chart here, it's right about there. Yeah. We may hit that soon. SPX, we uh, already looked at that, and Tesla is back down in its former range here. So a little pop and then back down again. Even on a good market day like yesterday, we had a red candle and a gap down. Makes you kind of wonder what's going on with Tesla. Just really, I'm okay watching it. I'm not really okay trading it at this time. All right. Um, that's all I can really think of for today. The only thing I'm really serious about is condorizing SPX. And then maybe looking at maybe some calendars and, and butterflies. Calendars to the upside, butterflies to the downside. Uh, it's just not enough, uh, not enough IV out there to do the credit spreads so much. You know, I'm just, I'll hang with them on SPX, but I don't see a lot of uh, juice in credit spreads right now. Just because of this low IV. So that's it for today. Tomorrow's Friday. Be the end of the week. I have no expirations for this coming Friday, so I don't have to worry about anything. I'll just sit back, relax, and think rather than chew my nails and get all nervous and freaked out about big moves. So I shouldn't have to worry about that. Well, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.